Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Thor Motor Coach Wind Sport 29M behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, after you're done watching this video, make sure to check out the rest of the Byerly RV YouTube channel. We do things like uh, product videos, instructional videos, live broadcasts, all kinds of great stuff. You can subscribe, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. Also, you can keep up with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and be able to keep up with all the latest news and videos and things like that going on here at Byerly RV. It is a very beautiful spring, sunny and breezy day here at Byerly RV, so I apologize that I can barely see because I have to squint like this, and you're gonna get a little wind noise, but that's okay. Um, other thing is, check it out, you guys. This is the Byerly RV 75th anniversary t-shirt. Isn't this cool, you guys? These letters here have the pictures that are actually on the inside of our showroom. Very, very cool. Michael designed this. This thing is awesome. Uh, but anyway, sporting the 75th anniversary shirt today. If you, um, now, eventually you guys want to hear about this motorhome. I kind of do this every time. I don't mean to, but hey. Uh, the 29M, this is an awesome coach, you guys. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at a gas Class A, so we've got a Ford V8 up front. It runs on regular unleaded gasoline. Um, it's got a gasoline generator. It's a 29M, guys. So even though it's a Class A motorhome, this is about the same size lengthwise. I mean, 28 to 30 feet is a common Class C motorhome, you know? And it's not uncommon for folks to say, you know, I'm a little bit intimidated by driving something this big because it looks big, right? But the reality is, is it's no wider than anything else. It's not necessarily certainly any taller than anything else. And the benefit is, you guys, is that when you're driving this thing, you're sitting way up here. You can see over 10 cars in front of you and you're not crammed into some little driver's seat. You've got this beautiful big driver's seat and area. You're gonna see that, you guys, when we go inside. Um, but uh, I just want you to know, you know, this thing here, this chassis, this chassis is a chassis they made specifically for motorhomes, so it's very maneuverable. I think you would find that, you know, a standard class, I'm not, I'm not dissing standard class C's, there's nothing wrong with those, that's a whole different deal. It's got the Ford, say the E450 or whatever, but this will out turn an E450, you know. It's also got 19 and a half inch wheels and tires, okay? A bigger wheel and tire gives you a better ride, you guys. So this is, um, the least expensive true Class A on the Ford Class A motorhome chassis. I say it that way. No, I shouldn't say that. The Ace is actually on the Ford motorhome chassis. Then some of the stuff below that's a little less, so forgive me on that one. But anyway, um, up front we've got the Ford V8. There's not a whole lot to see up there, guys. They give us this itty bitty little panel to get in there to just check your oil and stuff like that. Engine work is done through what we call the doghouse on the inside, which we will see. Um, it's really got a nice, this is, they do a really nice decal package on this with like, this is like a partial paint here, I believe. Yeah, so we've got painted lower here with some decals, it's very nice. Um, we'll just kind of go through our storage compartments. Oops, I didn't clean the thing first, forgive me. You know, this is just like every other camper is as it rolls down the road for the first year, we get things like sawdust and stuff, right? Normal. Okay, here's our house batteries, you guys. So. There's a battery up front under the hood for the engine to start the engine. And then these batteries are right here. These are the batteries that are gonna run my lights and fans and things like that that are inside, okay? Um, my camper, I have a little trailer. It's got a single little battery on the front that does that. This has two batteries. It's a bigger vehicle, right? Um, here we go. There's a nice, another nice storage compartment. I noticed that the storage compartments have lights in them too, right? I like the fact that they're side opening. Okay, that just makes it a little easier to get in there. Uh, there's a TV here. This might be locked, you guys. Nope. There you go, nice. With a built-in soundbar. Look at that, guys. We are making progress. Forgive the wind, I apologize. Um, but we are totally making progress on TVs here because the soundbar is what we want. Well, here we go, TV, built-in soundbar. Very nice. Above all of this is a really super cool awning. Um, Sorry, it's a little windy today, so we're not gonna put it out because uh, we don't put our hunting's out when it's windy. Why? Because they're very, very expensive and they don't like wind. Even if it has an automatic retract, we don't trust that on a day like today. Uh, but anyway, this is cool. I can see that the arms are lit as it comes out, which is really neat. Uh, all right, we got an outside outlet. This, I can tell this is gonna be propane. Why? Because there's no lock on this door, right? We don't lock propane compartments. So there's our built-in propane tank. This is gonna give me access to the onboard LP system for RV specific low pressure appliances. That's a video in itself someday. <laughs> but uh, here you go. So class A motorhome outside kitchen. 
right? Nice fridge. Okay, that's a, I got campers out here that have fridges smaller than this, so <laughs> that's not bad for an outside kitchen, right? Hot and cold running water out here, which you don't see in these kitchens all that often anymore. Nice cabinetry and storage outlet and light. So um, this, this would go along with, so I would have my like little stand with my grill and stuff like that, and I'd have that plugged into right here, and this would be my little outside kitchen. And if you are 5'10 or less, it's a roof. <laughs> but anyway, Heading around the back, we got a ladder to get on the roof if we need to. Um, I can see the generator exhaust is coming out right here and the generator compartments right here. Um, this side would have been easier with the slide out in, I realize now, but that's okay. Uh, underneath here, this is just, here's a 4,000 watt Onan generator. Part of the way we keep the price reasonable on something like, it's only a 29 footer, guys, um, is to have a, a 4,000 watt Jenny, right? Nice big compartment right here. Ooh, I like this one because I can see that there's actually space up underneath there uh, to put like a table or folding chairs or something like that, right? We do have 50 amp electrical service on the cord, 30 amp electrical service on the generator. Ooh, nice. There's a water compartment, right? So this gives me access to dumping my tanks. I can see there's actually, looks like we've got some sort of maybe macerator pump right here, forgive me. Not positive on that, I see a tank. Tank, heater, pad, nice. Um, tank heaters, this is gonna be my gray and black tanks down here, you guys. Access to my hot and cold running water. There's a black tank flush out right here. Waste pump, okay, sweet. So this thing does have like a built-in macerator to help it pump the waste out, which is nice. And you know, it all comes out of here. And again, guys, this, I keep showing this because I feel like not everybody realizes that this pivots. So if I'm just gonna pull up and dump real quick, I can pivot it like that, or I can pivot it back down and go out this hatch in the bottom. So that, that way, if I'm gonna stay and leave a hose hooked up, I can leave the hose hooked up, whoops, and close the door. City water connections below there, and this is gonna be the other side of, okay, so on this side, I have a little bit more storage up on top of that frame area down there. And then here, same thing, never can have too much storage. So these storage compartments, you guys, that plastic in there is what they call rotocast. So instead of taking plastic and bending it into shape, because if you take plastic and bend it into shape, you create a weak spot right here, right? Well, they have this mold and they put a measured amount of plastic into the mold, they spin and heat the mold and it coats the inside of the mold with a nice even uh, thickness and coating and strengthen it. But rotocasting it, they're rotating the mold and it's casting the mold. Anyway, uh, we've got outside mirrors that are gonna be adjustable. We're gonna have cameras up here. So each mirror has turn signal activated outside cameras. And then we've got um, the little window right here, which A, my dog can look out and B, so can I if I'm a driver to see if a car pulled up right here. Um, something to mention just right here on this window, six year warranty on lamination, 12 year structural guys. I don't know if anybody else does more than this, frankly. I mean, that's about as good as I've ever seen in this business um, is to have that type of warranty behind your product. But when you're a Thor Motor Coach and you've been doing it for a long time and you build more than anybody else, you can do that, right? All right, let's go take a look at the inside of this 29M, guys. This is one of my favorite motorhomes. Okay, you guys, I haven't mentioned some of many little things yet, but some of many little things is gonna apply here, all right? Um, the 29M, again, let's remember everybody, this thing's 20, a 30 foot long coach, no different than most C's, okay? One thing about a class A motorhome though, is that this front area is usable, not just for driving, right? So of course we have our driver's area and everything, but as you can see here, I've taken these two chairs and I've turned them to face each other. And there's a mount right here on the floor. And when we go back in the back, you're gonna see this cool area back in the cabinet where the, um, table for the stores, but there's a nice little table I can put, whoops, right here. And this gives me an extra sitting place. You know, I can turn these this way if I want. Um, so this is additional living space that otherwise, and, and okay, so and again, I'm not dissing class C's. Standard class C has what? Big overhead bed, right? Well, guess what? Overhead bed. This is on a motor, it comes down, it's got a 500 pound capacity, so I have a whole bed that actually I could probably put two people on if I wanted to, um, right up here if I need it, okay? Um, also, you know, we, I talked outside about the view you have out the front and how easy this thing actually is to drive, and since it's a Ford, if you've ever had a Ford before, if you currently have a Ford heavy duty vehicle of any kind, you probably have a steering wheel just like this. You know, turn signals and headlights and things like that, cruise control, radio controls are all right where we expect them to be. My 
my cameras are gonna come up over here where the radio is. I've got dash air, dash heat. I can move this shade up and down. I can start my generator from up here. Um, my automatic leveling is up here next to my driver's seat. So I can pull up, put it in park, set my emergency brake and hit my automatic leveling controls, you know? And then I just get up and hit a button and put the slide out out and plug it in and I'm ready to go, right? Um, but you know, that, there's a desk right there that comes out too. But guys, this is, there's a lot of stuff going on. We haven't even left the driver's area of this Class A coach that otherwise in a lot of other coaches is not even usable like, like this. But uh, so I get full use of my whole coach, right? Um, I've got seat belt, of course, here, here. I've got seat belts here on my theater seating. So we've got theater seating. This stuff has, whoop, there you go. Very cool, huh? Um, the dinette will make into a bed, okay? So the table goes down, this goes across to make a bed. The forward-facing bench has two seat belts as well as a child safety latch, okay? So if somebody has a car seat, we can safely and correctly install that car seat right here, okay? So what do I have here? I've got six seat beltable positions. Well, there's a bed in back, there's a bed right here, and there's a bed up above the cab. So. Theoretically, I can actually sleep all these people if I need to, right? Um, nice TV, that's nice. There you go, big TV, lots of storage around you guys. This is what we wanna see. We got storage up here above these things. One big storage compartment. I like, ooh, look, there's even the touch-up paint for that paint that's on the back. Um, but, you know, undivided means I can put more stuff in there. Um, over here into the kitchen, we've got Solid surface, real solid surface counters, guys. I mean, this is heavy. Uh, nice stainless steel sinks. Residential faucet, right? And then we've got, ooh. Wow, see, I like when they do this, okay? That's a big open spot underneath there. I can put a trash can. I can put two trash cans underneath there or whatever. So many times there's like not a real good place for a trash can, but again, these guys have been doing this a long time. They build more than anybody else. They know what they're doing. They call their customers, they talk to them. It's, it's great, actually. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. We always find things in drawers, do we not, right? So here's our remotes. <laughs> you gotta love it. Um, well, let's see what's in drawer number two. No, anyway, nothing. Uh, so that means the water filters must be down here. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, nice drawers, you guys. Uh, this is nice, okay? So when you go from, say, the Ace up to the Wind Sport, you get a full-size microwave. Right, but we've got a full size microwave, but what else do we have? We actually have a three burner propane stove with an oven. You know, it's funny, the higher up you go, the less chance you have of actually getting an oven, right? So we've got, I, I like this, this is cool, man. I've got, now of course I got oven light now, right? I kind of quit talking about that because they've been around so long now, but if you're old like me, you know that we used to not have oven lights and that is a luxury, folks. <laughs> anyway, um, real tile grouted backsplash on this, which is very nice, I like that. Um, here is our uh, touchpad. This is that thing, you guys, that I keep saying. Um, oh, you know what? Wait, sorry. Oops. Before we do this, finish the kitchen with the fridge. I apologize. So this is the Norcold 12-volt compressor-driven fridge, guys. 10 cubic feet of space, big freezer, runs on batteries, so I don't have to be uh, running a generator or plugged in for this thing to work. It's compressor driven, it gets cold quickly, and it doesn't have to be leveled to work properly. So uh, this is the same fridge that I've got in mind. Love this fridge. Okay, back to one of my favorite parts, which is the touch screen. This is the part, you guys, where I'm like, listen, if you have a motorhome and you don't have one of these touch pads to control everything, that's a great reason to go ahead and upgrade, you guys, because this thing is so cool. Um, my home screen here, I can like, I've got a master on off for all the lights if I want to. I've got my monitor panel right here for all my tanks, including my LP. I can turn on my holding tank heat from here, my gas and electric water here, start my generator, and then I've got uh, quick readings on my front and rear thermostats here for my air conditioners. The uh, power section of this is the automatic gen start settings. Um, this is cool, you guys, because I could do this without reading the directions. And before, you used to have like a book and like 80 pages and go through menus and all kinds of stuff to set this up. So easy to do now, love it. Um, my lighting page, I, when I dig into that, I also have now the option to dim lights in the living room, bathroom, and bedroom. Um, as, and also individually control them. Front and rear uh, air conditioning here, the, uh, and, and of course a propane furnace. Um, I just wanna mention really quick, you guys, this is a 50 amp electrical service motorhome. So when I am plugged into 50 amp service at a campsite, um, I can run both my airs at the same time. There's a 4,000 watt generator on board. A 4,000 watt generator is a 30 amp generator. So 
If you are running on the generator only on this vehicle, you're gonna wanna run one air, not the other. Um, is it possible that they might both run at the same time? Hmm, unlikely, but you might be able to get it to happen, I don't know. Um, but realistically, it's meant to run one or the other. They are ducted, so we're gonna get air front and back regardless of which one we're running. And we're gonna chalk that up, we're gonna call that roughing it. Okay, there's <laughs> different definitions of roughing it out there. So in this one, roughing it means if you're boondocking on the generator, you can only run one air at a time. It's only a 29 foot motor home, you guys. I mean, realistically, it wasn't that long ago. These were only one air. I mean, most of your C's like this only have one air. So it's really all you need. Um, two's nice though, when it gets, I mean, never can have too much air conditioning when it's hot in the summer, right? And then my next screen here just gives me my on and control, slide out room control, and I can move that bunk up and down. And then there's going to be a settings thing, which we're not going to mess with too much here. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be a single bath unit where the bath is here in the midship, we'll call it, in the hallway. Um, this is a super nice bathroom, you guys. There's a, quite a bit of storage, quite a bit of like, I've got, man, it's nice to have towel racks and towel bars. Um, I love the fact that we have counter space that's next to the sink so I can set stuff. I've got enough cabinetry in here to put all of my bathroom stuff, which is super, super nice. I've got a really nice porcelain foot flush toilet and a big shower, guys. This shower is really super awesome. And it's got the shower miser. And I'll just keep saying one day we might do a video on that or we'll just keep selling shower misers. Shower miser is cool though, you guys. Realistically, what it does is it means that you can really conserve your water when you're showering and you can, um, you don't have cold spots in your shower when you're doing it. Um, it's pretty cool. And I like this nice pocket door. Woo. Pocket doors are nice, noisy, but nice. Anyway, <laughs> but, and they lock in place um, forward or back, which is nice. We got the same thing here into our bedroom. So this is pocket doors are the way to go. The bedroom's really super cool, you guys. So this is, is this king bed? Okay. Um, the standard bed, no tilting of this bed, it looks like, which is actually kind of nice, which means that this bed, okay. So we've done a lot lately with these tilt -a beds okay? Which a tilt -a bed is cool because you get a lot more room to walk around the bedroom when you are parked. But this bed is going to be a full-size flat bed all the time. So if you're going down the road and somebody wants to start, okay. If you stop and want to take a quick nap without putting the slide out out, um, you can do that. And here, I'm not gonna tell you what you can do while you go down the road. Everything works, you do what you want. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, uh, TV behind that now, we all know now we're gonna find some storage, right? That's pretty cool. Again, using every little spot. Nice dresser drawers here, you guys. Love these big drawers, right? This is gonna be, okay, so this unit has a full wall slide front to back on the driver's side here, okay? So when the slide is in, the only things that you can't get to when the slide's in are these drawers down here. Everything else in this entire coach is completely accessible when the slide is in and, and when it's out, of course. Now in here, this is, I mentioned earlier, we're gonna find a spot for where we're gonna see the table the leg for the table, and then actually the ladder is in here for that bunk that's up top too. Um, nice that they give us spots to put these things. Of course, this is my hanging storage in here too, right? But, you know, we talked earlier about how there's six seat belts, three beds, and then when you've got a four person booth dinette, well, you take those two chairs up there and face them together and put that in between. Now I can seat belt six, sleep six, dine six. I'm 29 foot again, guys, it's a 29M. So that's just, that's, this is when I said that this is one of my favorite motorhomes before I walked in. It's for all these reasons, right? It's the sum of many little things. But seriously, everything up to the way you drive it and you sit up above everybody and you can see out further, it's just awesome. Little things here. This is the model number and serial number of all the appliances on board. For those of you that have tried to want to work on your stuff yourself and you want to go ahead and replace parts on your appliances, you walk into the parts store of any RVD dealership and tell them you need a part for an appliance. What is the very first thing they say? What's the model number and serial number? And they won't even talk to you if you don't have that, you know what I mean? Um, so rather than have to go to the furnace and pull it out and figure out where that is or go to your air conditioner and start taking it apart to get to these numbers, they're all right there on the inside of that cabinet, which is extremely convenient. I think you're gonna find that, you know, one thing Thor does maybe better than any, than, well, than most people and most small companies especially is the customer service side of this. Um, these guys are a big company, they do well, they have a reputation to protect, um, and they have your guys' interest in mind. So, um, so anyway, Winsport 29M, you guys, check it out. You can go to www.buyerlyrv.com and you can see 
this and the rest of our stock. You can see current pricing and everything like that. I don't even know what our internet sale price is on this right now. Uh, this motorhome is currently available as of today, March 5th, 2023, here at Byerly RV. You can call 636-938-2000 and check availability um, if you want to schedule a test drive, right? Don't forget, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok now, which is kind of new, you guys. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.